That concludes our meeting tonight. Urban, I got one thing before we go to paying the bills. Yeah, almost I'm, I'm glad uh, Harold Wiley spoke up with his uh, resolution or with his uh, uh, petition. I saw the petition four or five days ago and uh, I agree with it 100% that there's stuff going on, whether it's illegal, not illegal, who knows. Um, the county says there's a lot of gray areas. Um, so I drew up a resolution and this would stop voter fraud if there's any happening. Um, the one thing we do have in this country is the right to vote. So let's do it right. Do it legal. And uh, so I've got a resolution here. I will move it. And when Michelle reads it, we'll ask for a second and go from there. I can't believe anybody would be against not taking care of voter fraud if it's happening. Everybody ought to be in favor of non-voter fraud. Do you have another one? Yeah, yeah I think it'll be somewhere. <clears throat> Whereas the town board of the town of Cape Vincent has been presented with a petition signed by residents of Cape Vincent stating that it, that it is their firm belief that unethical, if not in fact illegal voting methods were implemented which predetermined the outcome of the local election, elections held in Cape Vincent, New York in 2009 and that these same methods are being utilized once again in order to manipulate the outcome of the upcoming November elections. They have subsequently requested that the town board of the town of Cape Vincent, New York, takes action to resolve this issue. Whereas the town board of the town of Cape Vincent herein takes the following action to address and resolve this issue now therefore be it resolved that before voting in person in a town of Cape Vincent election voters must first show a cur current New York State driver's license with a Cape Vincent address to prove oh. residency an absentee voter no. must no. submit an absentee voter must submit a copy of their current New York State driver's license with a Cape Vincent address together with their absentee ballot to prove residency. Can I have a second? I'll second that. Well, this is absentee. Any discussion? You, you folks have been busy. Any discussion? Uh, yeah, there's. I have some. I have some comments. Uh, <laughs> uh, first, it is up to a voter to decide where he wants to vote, uh, and there is. You can only vote once, but you you have a choice of where you vote. My daughter. Uh, I guess she does have a New York State driver's license, is uh, employed by the uh, U.S. government, has been deployed in four different countries for four years, for the last 16 years. She has no home other than our home. Now, if she did not have a voting license, if she did not have a New York State license, you would not, you would not allow her to vote. So she would not be able to vote, period. That's crazy. No, it's not necessarily true if you read it all. Oh. An election officer. Yeah. 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 You cannot impose a voter voter law. That's a federal. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let them do it. Call in the feds. It means Brooks. It, it, it means nothing. But if you you know, go ahead. There you go. Vote on it. 
roll call? No, wait a second. I, All right. Go ahead. You're, you're not the clerk. Let the clerk conduct the meeting. Or let the let the supervisor conduct the meeting. This is my resolution. Okay. Do you have any comments? Yeah, I do. Uh, first of all, I disagree respect, respectfully with Mr. Wiley. I think that there are approximately 5,200 seasonal residents in the town of Cape Vincent, and there are approximately 2,700 year-round residents in the town of Cape Vincent. And the people who have come here and invested a sub substantial amount of capital or a high percentage of everything that they own have the right to express themselves on issues that exist in Cape Vincent, and those uh, rights are expressed in existing laws. This law here frivolously overrules an existing law that is run competently by the current uh, Board of Elections in Watertown, and I don't think we have even remotely the right to do that. In addition, the issue has become redolent of self-interest, redolent of wind, redolent of getting money directly for oneself, and with all respect for my board members, whom I care for very genuinely, they should not be running for office, and they should not be proposing a vote to curtail votes in their favor, which is nothing more than self-interest. I think this is a completely frivolous, uh, distorted attempt to twist around what's going on in Cape Vincent and bypass the high ethics, legitimate, responsible, common good orientation that is the history of this this village and this town, and we should not go along with it. I think this is just garbage. Yes. I, I will not call for the vote. If someone else wants to call for the vote, they may. Roll call. I didn't get a second. I already seconded it. Yeah, I, I'm going to say again, I really believe Marty and Donnie should not be voting on this. I, I feel it's a conflict of interest. They should have no right whatsoever it's got to nothing participate. nothing to do with win, Brooks. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Voter fraud. You guys agree with voter fraud? We got a motion on the floor here and a resolution. Let us finish this up, please. Uh, well, uh, on the other hand, you, you folks may want to waive it until uh, next next time when Jibo's here. He may support you. I mean, you know, do you, are you putting yourself in jeopardy by just you know voting on something that's illegal? I don't know. This, this definitely contains legal requirements, and I don't think, I, I, I think you're, you're messing around with, with, with legal issues. I would urge you to put it off and get some sort of uh, objective viewpoint. <coughs> well. Do you, do you, uh, roll, roll call. Please. How about a sound study while you're at it? <laughs> okay. You want to do a roll call? I thought he was doing a roll call. Oh, well. Mickey Orvis. I'm going to say I, but with oh. it's a real gray area. Uh, I think we okay. should have checked, but I, I'm already Mason. Okay, Mickey, I. I. Urban Hershey? No. Brooks? No. Three to two vote. What is your vote, Don? Three to two vote. Oh, well, I'm, yes. Hmm? Okay, are you through with your uh, gymnastics? Anything else? Urban, we've had tons of resolutions from you. For what? Gymnastics. Brooks, this is no different than what John Brown is doing. Some of 200, 300 people, and they're borderline legal. 
Anyway, that's all I, you know, that's all, you know. This takes the gray area. Hold on a minute. It takes any gray area out of it. Period. Right? If you should know that we are going to, you may stay here all you want. I would suggest that the board go into the other room and we have some peace and quiet to do our bill. Thank you, Okay? Okay. There will be no further uh, resolutions, no further actions after we pay the bill. Yeah. I thought we said something about the 14th of February.